Hi, this is George. So do you have a journaling practice? Uh, I have had one on and off for most of my life. Mostly off. I haven't been able to find a way to journal that I've been really, uh, it's been easy for me and that's been consistent for me until recently. Um, I started doing a practice each morning uh, as I um, get ready for the morning. Actually, I'll tell you as I as I'm as I'm in the bathroom, <laughs> I'll, uh, as I'm sitting, you know, sitting in the bathroom, I will take out my uh, my journaling tool, which is my phone, and I will write ten things to be grateful for. Now, you probably have heard this idea of the ten things to be grateful for, and how powerful it is to basically recount that to yourself every day. You know, different things. Uh, but I'm going to give you a specific format that that's been working well for me and. Maybe you could try it and see if it works for you as well. So uh, of the 10 things, you know, sometimes it's hard to come up with 10 things uh, to be grateful for um, in, in any way that's kind of meaningful for you. So I have this 3331 format, which is uh, three things that happened in the previous day that I'm grateful for. Okay, so three things that happened in the previous day I'm grateful for. And then three mundane things that I'm grateful for. The weather, uh, something I usually take for granted. Okay. And then three uh, negative mind states from the previous day that I can find something to be grateful for. So three things that went wrong, so, so-called went wrong, or didn't go as, as I had expected, uh, uh, as well as I expected. Um, three things that made me, uh, made my mind negative in the previous day that I can find some silver lining in. I can find some thing that even though it was a so-called negative event, there's a blessing in there somewhere. And I look for the blessing and I write down both the negative event and actually the blessing that's hidden in there. Or uh, what did I do to exit the, the negative mind state? Now, let me just kind of go through the rest and I'll, I'll come back. And then the final thing, one thing, is one eternal truth that I'm grateful for. Okay, so 3331, three, 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 three things, good things that happened in the previous 24 hours that I'm grateful for, three th mundane things I'm grateful for, and then three negative uh, things or mind states that I changed or uh, can find some blessing in, okay? And then one eternal truth that I'm grateful for. So uh, I think the thing that probably needs the most explanation is the three uh, negative mind states. So you know, generally speaking, things, some things go wrong uh, every day. Um, and we oftentimes just uh, allow our, our mind to, to be negative, uh, to be you know, angry or sad or frustrated, um, overwhelmed, you know, and any other guilty, shameful, whatever mind state that you, you got into. And we don't, um, we kind of just let it happen to us without realizing that. And sometimes we spend too long in that, mind st in that negative mind state without realizing that we have a choice to change it. We can do something, literally change our action, do, do something to change our, our mind state, or we can find some kind of uh, blessing in it, some, some, some truth within that, that negative mind state that allows us to, to be happy again. And so I think that, that, that those three journalings about the negative mind states are practically useful. Uh, and then the one eternal truth is what we can keep reminding ourselves of. It could be a different eternal truth every day. You are uh, infinitely loved. Uh, your destiny is truly secure and toward uh, brilliant uh, light and love. Uh, th things like that. I mean, wh whatever is true for you, right? And sometimes uh, if you have all these good things happening, you can write more about what, what good things are happening. So anyway, try that out and let me know how it goes or if you have any other suggestions about journaling, I'd love to know. Be well.